Hi and welcome back. In the first chapter, you've learned about the advantages of Kalon Test Cloud. Now let's move on and see how you can set up and use it in Kalon Studio. You can expect it to be very simple. Follow me in this tutorial. Go to kalon.com slash download, install studio, and you're good to go. Here, I have my Kalon Studio ready. You can also import a sample project by going to File, New Sample Project, choose a web UI project, give it a name, and you're good to go. This box pops up asking you to integrate with TestOp. We'll skip this for now. You can always configure it following the path shown on the screen. Now, to integrate Kalon Studio with Test Cloud, go to Project Settings, Kalon Test Cloud, or simply click on the Test Cloud icon on the toolbar. Check the box Enable Kalon Test Cloud Integration. Choose your organization in TestOps to run tests with. Click Applies and Close. The integration is just that simple. Now, let's create and run some tests on Test Cloud environments. We will need to prepare a test suite since Test Cloud currently supports executions at test suite and test suite collection level. I've already had some test cases in this sample project. If you are not using a sample project, you can create a test case from scratch by right-clicking on the test case folder and choose test case. Then, you can use recall and playback features, scripting mode, and keywords to create test scripts. We have already published a recording playback course to guide you on how to use it local approach. Post this video, go there, and follow the instructions to create some simple test cases. Alright, after having your test case ready, let's add them to a test suite. Right click on the test suite folder, choose new and test suite. Give it a name and description. Click OK. In this test suite, continue to click Add and choose your test cases. A test suite is used when you want to gather relevant test cases to verify a workflow or a feature or certain types of testing like regression testing. I'll use the existing test suite in this sample project. There are three test cases in here. To run this test suite with Test Cloud, click on the drop down icon next to the Run button. Choose Test Cloud. As the Test Cloud configuration beta dialog appears, select your desired OS, browser, and version you want to run your test with. At the moment, Test Cloud support Linux and Windows for operating systems. Chrome, Edge Chromium, and Firefox for browsers. But more options are being added very soon, so make sure you check them out while watching this course. Below, in the tunnel section, the option of execute with tunnel for private domain testing is unchecked by default. We'll skip this for now as we'll discuss this in the next chapters. Let me set it up real quick. Then, click on the Run button. Look at the job progress. You can see the tests are being executed on the selected browsers and OS without the use of a tunnel. You don't see the browser popping up and the test steps being executed on screen like usual since everything's happening on the cloud. However, you can always keep track of the executed steps via the Log Viewer section below. It shows here again at the step open browser, the OS is Linux, browser is Firefox, and the version is 95.
When it's done, click on the result tab to check out the results. All the tests passed. In the summary section, you can see my local OS is Mac OS, but the platform used to run tests were Linux and Firefox version 95. The Execution Environment tab also includes the information including the local OS, remote OS for execution, Kalon version, browser with the version, and other details. You can download the report of this test suite execution by clicking on Export Report. Here, it gives you certain formats including HTML, CSV, and PDF. Alternatively, you can connect to TestUp and review all the test results there. For more information on reporting, make sure to check out our course, Kellen Studio, How to Work with Execution Logs and Test Reports after this course. Alright, that is how you run TestSuite with TestCloud. But what about TestSuite Collections? A test suite collection allows you to group relevant test suites together, giving you more options and control over your test planning, management, and execution, like running them in parallel or sequential mode. To get what I mean, let's go ahead and create a test suite collection. Right-click on the test suite collection folder, choose New, Test Suite Collection, give it a name, then click on Add and choose your test suite. I'll use the existing test suite collection in this sample project. Then, select a test suite. Double click on the Run Grid column. Choose Test Cloud. Continue to double click on the Run Configuration. As the Test Cloud Configuration Beta dialog appears, select your options for the operating system, browser, and version. Then, click OK. Do the same for other test suites. Before running this, don't forget to save it. You have the options to go for either sequential or parallel execution mode. I will choose the second. This means my test suites will run simultaneously. The max concurrent instances indicate the maximum number of test suites executed at the same time. Since I have only two test suites, I'll go for two and keep the delay between instances at zero. Everything is set. Click on the Execute button to run this collection. Let's wait for executions to finish. When it's done, click on the Result tab. Continue to select Show Details to review the test results for a specific test suite. You can then download the reports and follow up from here. Very easy and simple, right? One last thing I want to show you in this chapter is running tests with TestCloud via the command line interface. You will need to install the Kellen Runtime Engine to run tests in CLI or a console execution mode. Alright, the easiest way is using the command builder. Click on the Command Builder button on the toolbar, then select a test suite or test suite collection. In the Executive Platform section, choose Run Grid and choose Test Cloud. Next, for Run Configuration, click Edit to choose your desired OS, browser, and browser version to run your test. Skips the use of tunnel, so we'll talk about this later. Click OK. 
Below, we have the options for execution configuration, like conditional termination or retry. But let's give them to keep things simple this time. Finally, select generate command. Our command line is created and shown on the screen. You can see three parameters related to test cloud here. Everything seems good. Then, copy to clipboard. Next, open your CMD or terminal and paste the command in. Press enter to run the command. Our tests are being executed. You can see the console logs to keep track of the executions. And that is the end of our first chapter. You've learned how to integrate and run test suite and test suite collections in Canon Studio via the command line interface with test cloud environments. In the next chapter, we'll show you how to connect and use Canon Test Cloud in Canon Desktop to schedule and run tests in test cloud environments.